What's going on guys, Richie here. Today, I wanted to show you guys something. That, I want to show you guys that. So, basically, I traded the Camaro. Uh, a lot of people were really surprised because I was always on a high horse of the Camaro SS because I still believe that the sixth generation Camaro um, is faster than the 18 GT. I do still believe that even though I bought this car. Um, now I'm talking stock for stock, okay? Because uh, in reality is the Camaro cannot compete with the Mustang when it comes to boost. They just can't, let's be real about it. Uh, now there are some A10 cars of the Mustang GT that are just ridiculously fast and they are. Um, you know, there's not a car that I don't think with intake and E85, I don't know a car that's gonna run you know, I, I don't know a Camaro that's going to run low 11s with intake and E85. Okay, I just, I don't. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that, not trying to get into a big spiel. I love both cars. Uh, I Most of you all know that I am more of a Chevy guy, but I went and bought this yesterday. This is a 2018 Mustang GT performance pack car. This is also, this also is a premium car. Uh, I got every option I wanted on this car and yeah i actually was not in the market yesterday i bought this car yesterday and i've already put close to 600 miles on it i just drove the hell out of it yesterday drove it all this morning as you can see it's kind of raining a little bit uh just kind of like a misty rain but that color is just sick but basically yesterday uh morning i was going to breakfast and with my wife and my daughter and it's right across the street we went to denny's it's right across the street uh from our local ford dealership which is carriage ford that's who i bought this from uh, big shout out to Jared from Carriage Ford. He took great care of me. Uh, it was a fast, quick process. Anyone looking for any Ford in general, uh, go to Carriage Ford. They'll definitely take care of you. I got a killer deal on this car. Uh, just let them know Richard sent you, or Richie, one of them. Uh, but make sure you all check out Carriage Ford if you all are going to buy a Ford. Anyways, um, I was driving past and I seen this bright orange car in the back of the lot, the back right corner of the lot. You could barely see it, but I, you know, this color just pops. You can't really miss this color. Damn, look at that spoiler. That spoiler, that's a must have, man. You gotta have it. Look at that spoiler. But anyways, I'm, I'm getting off track here. Um, you know, you, I, I seen this car in the, in the corner and I said, Jesus Christ, I gotta stop and look at that. Stopped, looked at it. And this is like a dream Mustang for me, okay? It's not my dream car, but if I wanted a Mustang, this is it. Other than this car, you all see in a second, is a stick shift car. This is an M6 car. This is not an A10. Uh, just I couldn't find the A10. Uh, after you know, while I was sitting doing paperwork, I was like, man, I really want an automatic. You know, just I've, I've been hearing crazy things about the automatic. I wanted to give it a try, but you know, I couldn't find any Orange Fury ones around. Not premium performance pack cars for the price that I paid for this car. So I just went ahead. Sorry for the the bad uh, angle on the car right there, but you know, I just went ahead and bought this car. Uh, this car's sick. Um, I love it. Uh, I, I, I don't have any regrets trading in the Camaro. This will be a fun car for the next year or so before I do upgrade to a ZL1 or a Hellcat because, like I said, I was not in the market for this car. I seen this car. I went in, said, Jesus Christ, I like this car. And they swindled me into buying a car, even though I don't regret it. Uh, you know, dealerships worked their magic and got me in a Mustang. But one of the big things about me buying this car was the price that I paid. I basically stole this car, in my opinion. I think, you know, I, uh, I think based looking online, things like this, I, I, I stole this car. Um, I paid $34,900 for this car. This car last week sold. This car last week sold. Or, no, not last week. Last month. The beginning of last month, which is uh, September, this car sold for $51,283 with taxes. The guy couldn't make his payments. He traded it back in. The car had like 400 miles on it i paid 39 i paid 39 thousand or 34 thousand nine hundred dollars this car's msrp on this car i do have the window sticker here is forty seven thousand eight hundred and fifty bucks uh, i think i got a pretty good deal on this car this car's basically brand new it had 400 miles on it, it wasn't even in its breaking period and uh I just I think I got a good deal on it. That was one of the big factors in me keeping or buying this car, deciding to trade in the Camaro. And um, yeah, so like I said, a lot of people caught this by surprise. Did not think that 
Richie would ever be in a Mustang. Um, but it, it happened. I bought a Mustang. So I do love this car. This car is sick. Um, man, I can't wait to, to really get into this car and have some fun with the uh, Gen 3 Coyote. Uh, this is a, for those of you who do not know, this is a Generation 3 Coyote engine. Uh, it produces 460 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque, I believe, stock. Um, but like I said before, I've ran a few of these in my auto Camaro, and I did beat them both, both guys I ran. But that's back when uh, I, I was slightly modified then, but I gave them a pretty good gap. So, I mean, driver mod is obviously a big deal. But anyways, I don't, I love this car. Look at this color. I mean, the sun's out. It's, I mean, this phone does not, man, this color is just sick. This is the by far, probably the best color I've ever seen on any vehicle ever, period. This, this car is just, just sick. Man, I, I just, I, I've, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun in this car. I'm going to keep this car for probably a year or so. Most of y'all know I don't keep cars long, but uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this car. I did, of course, you had to get the digital dash. Uh, I, man, this digital dash is sick. For you all, I've never seen it before. Man, this thing is just, this thing's nice. Oh, man, I love it. But, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, I'm going to make a video here soon, probably sometime next week, on how you can actually afford a car like this at a young age. I mean, I'm 21 years old. I've owned a 2015 Scion FRS, a 2017 Camaro SS, and a 2018 Mustang GT performance pet car. Now, you may think $35,000 isn't a lot of car, isn't a lot of money. This isn't really a dream car. This is, you know, something like that. But I see people all the time talking about how they can't wait to, to be able to afford one of these. I see guys on Facebook and uh, the Mustang forums coming up with guys that are just turning 50 years old, retiring, and being able to buy a car like this. And I'm living, and I'm living in it now. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been. I've been very fortunate in my life. Me and my wife have been very fortunate. She's 21, I'm 21, and we've been able to afford uh, very nice things. Hopefully it stays that way, but in, in probably in a year or so, a year or two, maybe two, just because, man, I just really like this car. I don't know, it might change, probably will change, but uh, first thing's gonna change that exhaust, man. I, I don't even know if y'all, I don't even think y'all can hear it, I can barely hear it, but I think I'm gonna keep this car, but I will be in a ZL1 or a Hellcat, by uh, probably two years from now, maybe the end of next year. But in the meantime, I'm gonna build this car up pretty good. Uh, first thing that's gonna happen, as you can tell, the, that exhaust is gone. Uh, I didn't want the performance packs, ex like performance exhaust or active exhaust or whatever it is, because they had a Mustang on the lot that had it, uh, but it was Konya blue, and it was a little more expensive than this car because it was considered new. But for 400 miles on a car, that's a new car, in my opinion. And uh, they wanted like $39,000 for it, fully loaded. Uh, and I, I noticed a difference in the exhaust, but it wasn't too big. And I mean, if you drive a Mustang, what's the first thing you do to your car? You change your exhaust. That's what's gonna happen. Leave some uh, comments down below on what you guys think would be a good exhaust for this car. I want it to be loud, but I don't want it to be so loud at like 2000 RPMs and shaking the windows. I am gonna plan on going headers, catless. I might keep the stock exhaust since I'm gonna go headers and catless. I don't know yet. Uh, we're gonna have fun with this car. So I uh, hope you guys stay tuned and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. But we're, we're gonna start having a lot of fun with this car. And uh, also, if you guys want, you guys can follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's Richie underscore S550. Uh, it's R I C H Y Y underscore S550. I'll leave a link in the description below. But, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my video next week. I'm gonna basically tell you guys how you can afford a car like this being young, but it's strict. You gotta be, you gotta be strict with your money. But we'll get on to all that in the my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about the rain, but man, look at that car. Spinny boy Richie, peace.